Hello everybody, my name is Elliot and welcome back to some more Hush Hush. It's, uh, it's 2023! Woohoo! Um, and, uh, we're gonna be heading into... The... The... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is it the second chapter with Ale? Yes, sure we do. As of right now, we do have, uh... All of... Almost all the second events, uh, done for all the girls, so... And I believe right after this... Yep, we're gonna see Eli up next. Um... Cue his name! Um... Uh, so, uh... Yeah, I lost my Sonic plush. I'm replacing him with Shadow for right now. <laughs> uh, cute, damn, not here for Shadow. I'm not gonna use any Shadow voice clips because that would be too long. And also, this plush is fucking huge. It's like the size of my fucking head. <laughs> but um, yeah, hush hush. It's uh, July 11th in the afternoon. So uh, I guess we can go ahead and get started with L Chapter 2. What is this? I know for yourself. But um, yeah, let's get into it. More hush hush baby. Phone. New phone, come to me. Alright, cool. Uh, also, Shadow, go over there. You arrive at the cafe slightly late after getting caught behind an ice cream truck for several blocks. Ice cream, ice cream, get your ice cream here. The place is busy today, but Lotus still gives you a friendly wave. It means you're not slowly and winks when he meets your... When he... Oh my god, I can't read. Searching for the cafe, you finally spot someone with pink hair. You're surprised, however, that he doesn't know. Dorian is sitting at a table, sipping a nice latte. He signals to you for you to join him. Hello! Nice to see you again. Gorgeous weather today, yes? Perfect conditions for a cold drink and some shade. Meridian Shade. <laughs> um, Dorian, you beautiful man. How's it? How's it going? Markets were looking good this morning, eh? Actually, yes, they were. I love a good bull market. Gets the blood and money pumping. Ah, yes, because Mr. Krabs needs his money. <laughs> Do you mind having a seat? I wanted to chat with you privately for a moment, and here's the perfect opportunity. Since L is temporarily indisposed. Any choice? What's on your mind? It'll only take a moment, I promise. Okay. I just wanted to apologize if I came across as rude or condescending the other day when we first met. It was not my intention. Okay. I don't agree with the whole angry father slash older brother stereotype. You know what I mean? Getting out the shotgun, asking, what are your intentions? I don't have anything with me, so cool. I get it. I've been speaking with Al, and she's indicated you know about her condition. Do you know what I'm talking about? You mean her narcolepsy? Yes, precisely. To get right to the point, Elle's condition has made her very vulnerable. She has been taken advantage of in the past, and even assaulted by people she's dated when she's fallen asleep in their company. Mm. So, I take the responsibility of watching out for her very seriously. Any choice? I'm not sure you should be telling me all this. Yes, I have a twisted knot in my stomach telling you such personal details. But the point of this is to actually move out of your way. Oh. Uh. In any case, Elle has been talking about you non-stop since you dropped by. And she has that sparkle in her eye imploring me not to be overbearing or difficult. Shut the fuck up! So I shall do my best not to. <laughs> cool. My first effort will be not to explain in grim detail. The consequences if I have misjudged your character. 
if you mistreat my sister. Okay. I think we understand each other. <laughs> More than you realize. Excellent. Oh, by the way, here. A little something to show my sister a good time. Dorian reaches it through his wallet and extends a small stack of cash towards you. There must be a thousand dollars in his hand. No thanks, I got that covered. Alright, suit yourself. Dorian turns away from you as he rises from his seat, smiling broadly. Oh, there you are. We were just talking about you. My apologies for taking so long. There was a very chatty person in there who wanted to tell me about her nine grandchildren. Oh boy. Isn't that cats is one of them puss in boots? I didn't want to be rude. She was very, very proud and had a lot to say about each one. <laughs> oh well. You have far too much patience for your own good sometimes. As Elle turns to me, you know, as her shyly tuck, <coughs> and strand of hair behind her ear and smile. I'm happy to see you. Thank you for coming. I hope Dorian made you feel welcome. Oh, well, good to see you. Beautiful as always. Oh, th thank you. <laughs> Where am I at? Okay, we're getting up there in the world. All right, you two. I'll get out of your hair. Have a great time. L, I'll drop by later tonight on my way home. Let me know if you want to have dinner. I'll have Jeeves prepare more foie gras. Foie gras. <laughs> it's foie gras. <laughs> Just, it's a mistypo. Put in F-O-Y-E-G-R-A-S-S. -S. <laughs> sounds good, Dorian. I'll see you then. Hmm. Adieu. <clears throat> As Dorian leaves, he waves at L, returns the gesture. She sits perfectly still, a gentle smile on her face, until he's out of view. Once outside, she seems to relax, returning her attention to me. Any choice? It's a little hard to tell you guys or something, you seem very different. Uh, boy. If only you knew. <laughs> uh, feel better? Oh, just a bit. It can be a little hard to chat with Dorian around. He has strong opinions. And many, many of them. Hmm. Secretly, I was hoping he wouldn't find either of us interesting enough to stick around. <laughs> I am was he polite, though? He didn't do his scary big brother performance, did he? Oh, wow. Wow, think about him less think about me more my god <sighs> well i mean you try not to nah forget him <laughs> he would be so grouchy if he heard you say that once once i uh show this to the voice actor of him he probably would <laughs> no promises but i'll do my best so are you enjoying your vacation? I hope so. I can't tell if my town is good for vacations because, well, I live here. Are there tours? Have you taken any good pictures of birds? What's that bird's name from Looney Tunes? I forgot. I can't remember anything uh, past. Frickin' uh, Looney Tunes. Um, I'm having a great time. Though truthfully, it's because the people I've met are so wonderful. That's very kind of you to say. Or at least, I hope it is. Do I count as one of the people you've met? Ding! Never mind. I'm fairly confident I know the answer to that question. And your confidence. I don't know what to say. So, you'll have to forgive me, but 
I'm not very good at going on dates. Hey, I can't take... <laughs> I can't take a special someone on, date, on a date very well either. I'm shit at that. <laughs> I didn't plan any activities or bring any flowers or anything. So, I hope you're not hoping for a surprise cake or turnips. Turnips! <laughs> this is already the best date I've ever been on. <laughs> well, I know you're teasing me now, but I'm going to pretend that you're bad at it and accidentally making me feel happy instead. You can tell that Al isn't, still isn't entirely at ease. Before you can figure out what to say next, you notice Lotus coming over to our ta to your table. Hola! Aloha! And hello! Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. That line never gets old, I'm gonna say that right now. Nice to see you both again. I'm here to take your orders. And also to ask if you'd like to make a donation to the Chubby Bunny charity drive today. Chubby Bunny? Oh goodness, that sounds adorable. What exactly is a Chubby Bunny charity? And how do we help? It's so great. If you make a donation to Chubby Bunny, the Queen Bee Coffee House will give you a free bag of marshmallows. Free? More memes. The larger your donation, the more marshmallows you get. All proceeds go to the Sabrosa Animal Shelter, which does in fact take care of bunnies. Hmm. Now, we can legally tell you to put a whole bunch of marshmallows in your mouth because that's a choking hazard. But let's just say you'll be in good company today if you do. Cool. Looking around the cafe, you notice most people are stuffing their mouths full of marshmallows and trying to say Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny! Woo! Been trading my whole adult life for this. Cool. Sexy bunny. What do you think? Do you guys want to make a donation? I... I would love to, actually. Here, for the animals. I love animals. I love... Dogs. Oh, wow! That's so incredibly generous of you! Thank you! Hold on! I'll go get your marshmallows right away! Wow! That was so kind of you! What a wonderful thing to do. This is such a thoughtful thing to do. Most of the time, if our family donates to a charity, they send a check and request a donation receipt. It loses a bit of the magic, I think, when Daddy is just trying to offset his taxes. Yeah. Bah, listen to me. Still talking about my family issues. I just need to relax and have some fun. Of course. What would be without fun? Maybe I can ask you some questions this time? Yeah, go for it! <laughs> Alright then, let me think. What do you do for work? I'm into fitness and training, baby. I'm actually getting back into working now, so that's good. I should have guessed. I was looking at those biceps and imagining what... Okay. We're going down that route, are we? Er, well, I mean, I thought you looked rather lumpy. I mean, I guess I do look like a lump. But in a good way. I mean, how about another question? Hmm. This is kind of a strange question, but I'm always interested in the answer. What's the weirdest dream you've ever had? I dreamt two goddesses told me to save you. They said something like, Dies are dies ila? You hear yourself speak, and a strange, uncanny dread takes me. Yep, 
as though the words are not your own. Mel reaches. Elle's reaction is immediate. Her eyes widen in surprise. What? What did you say? Uh, that is a way. Uh, a For a moment, you're unsure what to say. You fear you you may have scared her. But instead, her question becomes thoughtful. That's a weird, strange coincidence. Someone I know says that all the time. But he always adds, Sauve cyclome in favila. You know, I'm not going to think about it right now. For a moment, Elle is lost in thought. As I was straining to remember something, when next she speaks, the joy is already gone from me. I think it's a poem. Or... Lotus pops up suddenly, interrupting her our conversation. Okay, guys, I ran as fast as I could. Here are your marshmallows. Yummy. Whoever can fit the most in their mouth and still stay chubby bunny is the winner. Supposedly. Supposedly. Once more, I kinda encourage you to put too much food in your mouth. But... I mean, who's gonna listen to me? Enjoy! Look! These marshmallows are shaped like little bunnies too! It's not even Easter yet! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go first, or should I? You go first. I want to savor this. Okay! <laughs> this is so silly. Bullshit, I say. Bullshit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll start to stuff marshmallows into her mouth, doing her best not to giggle as her cheeks buff up. At one point, she has to stop and wave her hands in, in mock frustration. I'm <laughs> You hand her another marshmallow. She's up to five. She manages to push it in with a delicate finger. <laughs> Are you saying re as in... <gasps> no, I'm not going to do it into the microphone. That counts, you got the five. <laughs> Elle starts to laugh, her lips puckered and barely contain the marshmallows. Finally, she utterly chews them and is laughing hysterically when she's done. Yay! <laughs> I did it! I think I may have a hand talent. <laughs> I must insist you do it with at least four to secure your victory. In the interest of fairness. You pick up a bunch of, of the marshmallows, gagging their relative density and squishiness. Oh man, reminds me of that one uh, uh, part in the Dead Space 2 episode on Punch, for uh, they're talking about uh, the, the bench pressing. I'm, I'm going to do a side by side for this. <clears throat> hey big guy, get on top of me! Glock, 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 glock. You feel a high degree of certainty that you can fit six. Now watches you with eager enthusiasm, her eyes sparkling in anticipation. <laughs> Do four marshmallows but fail on purpose. Save and reload if you want to earn the, earn the achievement. Wait, I think I already have that one. Like, no, just pick six marshmallows option to win. It makes you lose, and and all it gives is minus hearts. You need to lose on purpose with only four to get max hearts. Bing! You saw four marshmallows in, but no matter how hard you try, it seems you can't get close to forming sounds from only close to chubby bunny. Oh, my word. I don't think that counts. <laughs> Wait a moment. If I counted right, I 
think I won. Good for you. Wow, I can't remember the last time I won anything. This is wonderful. <laughs> Goodness, sorry. That probably sounds really silly, getting all worked up over a silly marshmallow contest. Congratulations, Al. You performed per beautifully. A blush is... Though she tries to not look bashful. After a moment, she reaches out and squeezes your hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you squeeze my hand, it's gonna break! Hey, you two! Sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to give you a special treat for coming in today. On the house! Yay, yeah, my money! She be saved. I'm being a conservative. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Would you took care for a strawberry milkshake? I got two straws. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you. Strawberry milkshake sounds so good right now. You're welcome. Enjoy. Oh, uh, I suppose we're sharing at least one straw. Yes, two straws, one strawberry milkshake. I don't mind at all. Great. You and Elle drink the milkshake together, and her expression is one of pure delight the whole time. Oh, would you look at the time? My bus is going to be here soon. The stop is just across the street. You don't mind waiting with me, do you? Not at all. Staying in my seat is literally the least I can do. Wonderful. True lorp. Elle takes a moment to sip her drink to make sure it doesn't go to waste. Her mind seems to wander, and she smiles to herself. <sighs> when she stops to take a breath, she smiles and reaches out for her hand. She squeezes it twice. The bus shouldn't be much longer. I don't need to hurry until I see it come around the corner. It's basically the riskiest thing I do every day. I could give you a ride <laughs> if you like. No. Oh. I know this probably sounds a little odd, but I really like the bus. My mind was in the gutter. I, I meant like an actual ride. But okay, so, mm, alright. I'm not allowed to drive a car myself. My condition makes it much too dangerous. I can't get a license. Well, that sucks. The bus is sort of my way to be more independent. I appreciate it more than I can say. Hmm. Elf turns toward you, catching your eye. She stares at you, and the sound of something is uh, uncovering the layers of you. Bing! Got it. Finally, she nods, having made up her, her mind about something. She turns her gaze back to the street and takes a deep breath. You're the only person I've ever dated that hasn't asked me. About my hair. About Dorian's hair. Huh? I mean... I assume it runs in the family. Along with good looks. <laughs> you really can't resist trying to make me blush, can you? No. <laughs> well, I don't want to discourage you, so... Thank you. I feel like I should tell you this, just so you know, just so your imagination doesn't fill in the blanks and make you think I'm strange. The truth is, I keep my hair this way because Dorian likes it. He likes that our hair matches. He likes that I keep it short. This probably sounds so strange to you. It's not that Dorian forces me to keep it this way. He just... He just sort of expects it. Short hair is less likely to get caught on things if I fall asleep somewhere unsafe. Pink hair helps catch people's attention. It's girly and pretty, and that's what Dorian's sister should be like. It's hard to explain. 
lots of family drama over a very long time. Something I don't want. I don't want to disappoint him, I guess. Oh, why? <laughs> I see, I definitely got some controlling vibes from him. Yes, he's always been like that. Ever since we were little kids. What the fuck? But it's been getting better. And soon things are going to change for the better because... Nell's voice stops abruptly, and you see her eyes suddenly grow heavy. Oh boy. Her head droops, and she falls asleep. Alright, you watch your chest rise and fall with each- Why? Unveil to him. Cool, no bad karma allowed. Okay. What the f- Gentleman or perv? I'm saying... I don't know which is the better option to do. <laughs> um, yeah. You turn your eyes away and sit quietly with Elle until she finally starts to stir. Oh my gosh! I fell asleep! I didn't miss my bus, did I? Nope, we've been sitting here quietly. Oh, good. I hate missing the bus. I never leave home without a schedule and bus pass. Bus. After waiting five more minutes, the bus finally arrives. It's coming up the street. Elle stands and gently takes my arm. Thank you for everything today. You're amazing. Before you can respond, Elle leans forwards and pushes on her tiptoes. Her lips, her lips meet mine. In an impossibly soft kiss. She sways ever so slightly back and forth as though trying to make the kiss more perfect. Her breathing becomes deeper and more urgent, but her lips pressing glide against mine, lighting my thoughts on fire. I had something in my head, I don't know what it was anymore. When she pulls away, she looks into my eyes almost fretfully. As though to make sure the kiss was real. Take care. You too, Elle. Elle hugs me, bringing in, in a deep sigh, taking me in. Cool. Then she dashes onto the bus before the driver can protest, waving goodbye with, with you, to you with her cheeks red and her smile complete. You watch the bus drive away, then return to my car. Yeah! It is evening. It... First hell. Hello, it's hell. You know the sleepy girl? Yeah, I do know who this is. I just wanna let you know that I had a wonderful time. <laughs> hmm? Sorry, yeah, that my brother sort of butted in. He's like that. In any case, I just wanted to let you know how much I enjoyed it. And hope we can do it again soon. Take care. Alpha. Boop. Hey, it's me, Alpha. I hope you remember me. I'm the girl who you talked to about having a supernormal day with me. With you, I should say. I shouldn't refer to me. So I checked my schedule. My schedule. And I'm free for dinner on Friday the 12th. Maybe we can grab some normal food, like pizza or apples. Are you free? I would love to hang out then. 
That's my answer. Yay, that makes you so happy. I can't even tell you. I'll come pick you up. I'll have Alphonse drive us. He's a great driver. See you then. I'm so excited. Uh, the fuck is that noise? Hold on. Huh. Well, that was weird. Alright. <coughs> Um, and then, let's see Eli. Bing! Let us go see Eli. That, those two noises were weird. Um, you arrive at the mall, which, which is somehow even busier than last time. The number of patrons seems to grow with every visit, as does the taste of recycled air. You make your way over through the Cheek Boutique, and you see Eli with a customer. The customer seems unsure, but Eli is exploding with energy and charisma. Nim! Nim, Nim, Nim! I'm telling you, buddy! This is the exact look you need to bring your game to a new plane! Excitement overload. I don't know, Eli. I just... I don't think I would look very good in leather. And those pants aren't really pants. The boy leans in closer to Eli, and you have to strain to hear him. There's no... there's no pants on the bum. No! Or the crotch! That's what makes them fun, Nim! Imagine how convenient they would be. Like, if you get an itch, it's so much easier to scratch. <sighs> and none of that uncomfortable bulging when things get exciting, right? <laughs> Eli, I can't really tell if you're being serious. <laughs> oh, you're no fun, Nim. You're supposed to pretend for at least a minute that you're into my great ideas. We talked about this. You agreed. <laughs> okay, wow, sorry. It's just, there was that one time you sent me home with all the edible underwear when I was pretty sure I stressed the inedible nature of undergarments that I preferred. Oh, details, details. Here you go, lovely. Aphrodite's mighty tidy whities The most comfortable, sensible, but still kind of pretty briefs on the market. <laughs> Thanks, Eli. You're the best. Pish posh. You're ten times the gummy bear I am. Okay, ciao for now, my delicious little rabbit stew. And taps his credit card and walks up with a flustered but sincere smile. You approach Eli. You approach the checkout. Eli doesn't seem to have noticed me yet. <laughs> hey, who was the gummy bear? Oh my gosh, you're here! Yay! Uh, that blue hedgehog ain't here though, so. No, I'm not picking him up. He only hops over the counter and kisses both my cheeks. Cool! He also gives your chin a little pinch to better admire my face. Alright, cool. Such a fine, kissable face. Cool. Oh, you mean Nim? <laughs> Isn't he just the most adorable little muffin you ever saw? He's precious. He's sort of a regular. Buys all his vests and cardigans here. And his undies. <laughs> I just love making him blush blush. Da 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 da. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here though. 
Thanks for having a date with me here at the boutique. Yay, <laughs> I guess. I've got some boring stuff I gotta sit on here. But I simply couldn't wait one more day to see you and squeeze you. Okay, cool. I think you can squeeze this hand. Oh god, I feel like I broke it. But don't worry! I'm going to make this hella romantic. I got champagne chilling in the back. I've got fancy things to dress you up in. Cool. It'll be just like a date, except basically free, which is my favorite price. <laughs> Yay! Um, I thought this was going to be a pot luck. I brought I brought pulled pork. Mm, pulled pork. <laughs> well, I am a fan of pulled pork. And double entendres, too. I think I've got some protein bars in the back. And if we get extra hungry, there's always the edible undies. Uh, yeah. They're not so great at first, but like many things in life, if you lower your standards, you can probably enjoy them. True. Eli's phone beeps, and he practically collapses with... Dramatic disappointment. Ah, uh, again? What? It's only been two hours, and they've called me to storage nine times. Nine! They should at least buy me dinner if they're going to screw around with me like this. Okay, listen up. You are now in charge. I grant you Eli's magic charisma powers while I'm gone. Oh, so I'm basically the person at the counter. All right. Uh, I need some better fitting clothes for 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 this. Take care of customers until I get back. Bye. Should I? I I don't know if I want. Spend the rest, the rest of this recording in polo and jeans. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny, though. Eli rushes out of the boutique, leaving you stranded behind the counter. <laughs> that that would be that would be the only thing I'd do deception for stealing money. I I need money. Leave. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, you can't help but feel some of the Eli magic charisma bubbling in the back of your mind. Why? Well, yeah. While waiting for Eli to return, you catch a customer entering the store out of the corner of my eye. It's. You recognize her before she sees me. Her eyes are nervously scanning the tables of unmentionables. <laughs> see this, see this baby here. It can fit so many legs. Can I help you? Yes, I was hoping you could. Oh, it's you. Hello. What are you doing here? Do you work in the chic boutique now? Where's Eli? Uh, Eli is currently unavailable. What can I help you with? Just, uh, don't know if I feel comfortable talking to a stranger about it. Nah, we're good friends, Lotus. I'd love to help you if, if you let me. Well, yeah, okay. You might actually be a little more helpful than Eli, actually. A little more helpful. <laughs> Damn, girl. <laughs> you see, I have a date tonight. A very, um, special date. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Oh, Lord, it's got a date. Good for her. But it's actually my third date, and I wanted to maybe... Well, I want to dress in a certain way to really get my date... Uh, excited? Hmm. 
you know what I'm trying to say. You're ready to give a very special present. And you want the perfect wrapping paper. Bing! <laughs> yes! Thank you! You put it so much more eloquently than I could. Yeah, baby. What do you think? Do you have anything I would look good on? I love this. Which option do I want? Tech savvy. Use the computer to calculate the optimum Lotus lingerie assemble. Jesus. Hmm. This says a lavender teddy with a matching carpet. That might be cute and sexy. Let me see how they look. Lotus disappears into the changing room for just a few minutes. After a short while, she calls me over. Well, how do I look? How long can I keep that up for? Perfect. It matches your outer beauty to your inner. Lines is my brother. Yay. But, um, thank you. Lois gets changed and returns. Thank you for your help. I'm sure Eli would have insisted first on something more dramatic. You're welcome. It was actually nice to have a friendly face helping me. Here's my payment. You can keep the change. Have a great day, and thank you again. After taxes, you're left with a hundred dollar tip. Nice. A short while later, Eli returns. He flops down on a big fluffy chair and groans. Sweet spirit of Judy, I dislike stairs. Mm -hmm. The south end escalator was out. So I walked all the way to the north end escalator, and that one was out! <sighs> Oof. The elevator was preoccupied with a sweet little saltwater taffy in a wheelchair, and I couldn't bribe any large men to carry me up. No matter what steps I take to avoid them, it's always stairs. <sighs> me. <laughs> anyway, how'd it go here? Anything exciting happen? I helped Lotus from the green bean to a lavender teddy while matching garter belt. With matching garter belt, my Jesus. Oh, M, goodness! Lotus was here! And you sold her sexy undies? And she bought them! Yes. I bow, prostrate, and strike every other compromising posture to your greatness. Lotus is a tier A plus on the shyness scale. You're an artist! You mean S rank? And you mean S tier? So hey, there's a decent chance that I'll be fired today. Just FYI. Oh no! I was hoping to get one more chance to fool around in the back room with you, though. If you'd be down like a clown, a sexy clown, I stress. Oh my God. Oh, uh, well, that's one way to proposition someone. <laughs> I'm not singing the song. DMCA, baby! <laughs> <laughs> you're cute when you're pretending to be modest. Maybe keep that up for the next 30 minutes or so. Oh, Jesus, 30 minutes? I don't have 30 minutes. So, is that a yes? Wanna go in the back and play a little Red Rover? I have TV remote on standby. Can you say yes? One's all you need, baby. Hell yeah.
He like leads you to the back of the sword. This time, he's noticing more soft and seductive. God damn it! I should learn to record earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby <laughs> he pulls off his shirt she needs to land on the floor perfectly folded his shirt's still on every night he's na he's naked and hard he sends sensor now <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Somehow in that moment he's purely feminine and purely masculine all at once. Masculine. This is your neck, your stomach, your thigh, and then he slides his tongue. They're your privates. Over my privates. Jesus fuck. He starts to suck the nibble to flick his tongue. And he starts to sound impossibly gentle and goes into a frantic rhythm. You feel him fingering softly at your palm. His rainbow hair smells like some, some exotic essential oil. <laughs> Guys, I'm hard. Hold on, I'm hard. He like keeps sucking and licking me until you can barely stand to be stimulated anymore. <laughs> and you go to return the favor. You can see he has already combed. He smiles sheepishly. <laughs> Whoops! Got a bit too excited, I guess. You kiss him and. Sh Stroke him after a long, after climax or two, he kiss and touch each other after a long, long after cum -ing. Such is your, my excitement. When it's over, Eli throws you a fancy uh, embroidered towel and laughs. Damn, you get better every time we do that. I'm actually starting to hope that maybe things don't work out between you and Eero. You son of a... Okay. Which, on a side note, is just a bitchy jealous thing to say. I say that kind of stuff. It's on brand. Oh. Whew! Let's get some water. Water. Alright. Get back. You and Eli finish cleaning up and getting dressed. Then he directs you to an employee's loungy part of the store and gestures for you me to sit. So, we've got at least a little while before the suits come back from the warehouse. Let's chill. Ah, uh, yes. So, tell me what's on your mind. How are things? How are things with Eero? Let's... Mmm, I'm not saying a thing. Whoa, wait, don't answer. I saw that look. As soon as I said her name. What's wrong? Oh. Nah. Ah, uh, things are good. Slow, but good. Hmm, Eli is suspicious. Hmm. You know what? I should have seen this earlier. You've got it bad for Eero. I can tell. Oh, Jesus, has he found out? You looked a little like you were burning the candle from both ends, poor thing. What? I should have seen it, but I was being willfully ignorant because... Well, I mean, look at you. I want to lick caramel ice cream out of your navel. That's a special feeling. Alright. <laughs> but 
let's slow this down and see where things go later on down the road. Cool. We had fun. Why don't we just call it here? What do you say? I mean, if it doesn't work out, booty call. Oh, wow. Like yesterday. Booty call now. Booty call anytime. Fuck yeah. Here, just to prove things are cool between us. He reaches over to a purse, opens it, and takes out a huge wad of bills. Catch! A little gift from Eli, so you can show my sister a good time. Hmm? You want for all the bills, there's exactly $5,000 in here! Always was. That's my secret. Alright. I'm always horny. Whoops! Looks like the suits are coming with their inventory report. You'd better skedaddle. Listen, it was fun. It was really fun. If things really don't work out between you and Eero, then... Well, you got my number. Take it easy. Yay. Sexy muffin. Okay, bye! See you later. And he shows you to the door. Just as four very scary women in sunglasses and black suits walk into the store. Hi, ladies. I'll put some tea on. Let's dish. You walk out of the mall, returning to your car, but feeling just a little winded. You're not really sure what to make of everything, but you decide to carry on. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Hey, no. Okay, you guys watched me play the plane of Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal in the 3DS. Wait, what the fuck? Well, in any case, who cares right now about this magical thing that has been part of me since childhood? I don't know. But um, I would just like to make a quick announcement that my Patreon service is going to be up when this video releases. And uh, for only 10 bucks a month, you can support me. Uh, you can keep supporting this channel by just spending 10 bucks each and every single month. That's going to be the starting price. But by I grow my channel some more and then I get more people to support me, the price will start to lower... Probably around like two, three dollars each. I'm I'm trying to make a living here, okay? Um, and then maybe at some point I'll just make it like five dollars a month. So yeah, it 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 it'll be sometime soon that uh it's gonna lower. But uh, hey, what are you gonna do? You know? And uh, I may want to buy some games from it so I can do it for this channel so uh thank you again everyone for watching uh this first video of 2023 i'm so excited for what's going to be happening for the future so thank you again for watching if you're once again if you are new please please do subscribe to the channel like the video if you enjoyed and if you're an existing subscriber share this video with your friends on whatever you know um and uh and please do share this video because i want the support to keep on uh going so yeah thank you everyone for watching and goodbye mm -hmm.